And welcome back. Here's a live look outside the Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot in Dickinson, North Dakota. They're in a winter storm warning right now. The storm has hit portions of western North Dakota. It's going to move into South Dakota and then off to our east, missing us. So we are definitely uh, dodging a bullet. Pretty lucky out there. Not in terms of uh, be it being like spring because we are pretty cool outside. Temperatures into the mid to upper 20s out toward Jamestown Valley City into the mid 30s across the Southern Valley Lakes Country mid 20s into the uh, Devil's Lake Basin, and we've already reached the lower 30s where they're seeing some sunshine across uh, portions of northwestern Minnesota. Combine that with wind speeds of, uh, say, 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts from the northeast. We are seeing wind chill values pretty cold for this time of year. Wind chill value of 14 right now at Devil's Lake, uh, 11 right now at Cooper's, uh, Cooperstown Valley City, 15 at Jamestown, and low to mid 20s from Fargo into Lakes Country. Now, now, uh, taking a look at the satellite loop, we are seeing mostly cloudy skies across the region. Some areas are seeing a few peaks of sun, including Fargo, and uh, looking off to the east. Just some uh, light snow showers, if this is reaching the ground at all, say from the Wapiton area down toward Fergus Falls. But that's it for the moisture in our viewing area. We are tracking this major winter storm and blizzard over Nebraska right now. And on the backside, you're going to see the heaviest snow and the strongest winds. The low and the heaviest snow are going to move off to the east as we go through the next couple of days with blizzard conditions across most of South Dakota, as you can see here in the pink shading. Still in a blizzard warning, uh, the counties just off to our south, Brown, Marshall, uh, Roberts, and Traverse County, because the system could go a little further north, but it looks like uh, you're going to have to make your way further south of that before you start to see any significant snow. In our area, we do have a wind advisory for the southern portion of our viewing area. This is from now until around 7 p.m because of wind speeds 20 to 40 miles per hour with higher gusts. So mostly cloudy skies, the story, with a few more peaks of sun as you make your way further north. Cold today, temperatures mainly into the 30s as that snow stays well to our south. We're going to see more of the same as we go through the day on Saturday, mostly cloudy. Temperatures only into the 30s as the snow makes its way off to our south and to our west. Here's a wider view showing the snow off to our south, moving across South Dakota, becoming a major blizzard. This is Saturday at midnight. Let's make our way through the morning hours on Saturday and even through the overnight on Sunday into the uh, afternoon hours. The snow is still going into portions of uh, southern Minnesota and then eventually moving off to the east of that and we're just seeing mostly cloudy skies. Here's the snowfall accumulation map and we are seeing pinks on the map and that is uh, where you're seeing the lighter pinks where a foot to a foot and a half of snow is possible from Rapid City through central South Dakota, Sioux Falls and even through Minneapolis and points off to the east of that and we are getting almost no snow as we make our way through the next couple of days. After that we get that system out of here uh, we got a nice warm up. We're going to stay dry. Most sunny skies, a high of 42 for Sunday, 48 on Monday and 50 on Tuesday. Might see a few passing rain showers, possibly turning to some snow overnight into Wednesday. And then 50 again for the day on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. Thank you, Justin.